Hey, good morning, it's Chris. I am doing some Honda Generator Quiet Box testing. I did a redesign of my generator box and I'm going to show you what I did here. Let me start on the outside here. What I did is I put two fans that are blowing air in and connected the wires together into a single outlet. The outlet's connected to the generator on the inside. The big honking power cable is also connected to the generator. It's an L530 plug. And then on the back side here is where all the noise is. this and I put a scrunchie in there over the exhaust to, to baffle the sound on a little bit more. And I'm also monitoring the temperature on the inside of the box. It's been running for about 15-20 minutes now and it really hasn't even gotten hot yet. So that, that's good. Let me open the box up and I'll show you the sound difference. It's not as quiet as the other designs I had, but it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And it's in the shade too, so it's you know it's not 95, 100 degrees out right now. But it works. It quiets it down. It's not a, where I'd like it for quietness, but it's a heck of a lot better. Let's go inside and I'll show you this in here. So I got the 100 foot 12.3 cable running right into my system here. It's connected to this L5 here, which is connected directly into the inverter here. And right now, it's on AC input, hence the, the generator. It's pulling about 500 watts, which is great. Now here's the thing that I've found out about this system. And I'm gonna try to explain this as simply as possible. This generator is rated for 2000 watts. And what I'm running with the system, of course, is all my, uh, my transfer switch, solar panels and everything but in the case of nighttime power outage this is my backup the generator is my backup so I'm just testing to see what I can run in the house that would normally be run by solar and what I find is uh, it'll run about 1300 watts of power According to this meter here, it's like 600. But when there's spikes and surges, you know, like a, a refrigerator compressor turns on or the air conditioner compressor turns on, it'll jump back to inverter mode. The battery will handle the, the load, and then it'll switch back to generator power once once uh, you know things are settled down. That initial thrust of the load is absorbed. Which is a good thing, you know, it's only 
maybe 10-15 seconds it's on battery power and it switches back to generator power. I, I like that feature about the Outback Power Inverter is that it can uh, sense when there's bad voltage or there's a big current draw on your system. See right there? It just switched. Now watch this. Something just turned on. Said, hey, generator's like, oh no. And guess what? And it goes back automatically to generator power. Isn't that cool? But that initial jump, uh, the Honda does not like that. But it doesn't kill it. You know, my, my whole system stays up. But I don't know how much shock there is to the system, you know, with that transfer over back and forth. But I'm probably pretty certain that it's not going to hurt anything too bad. All my electronics are on battery backups, you know, the APC Schneider battery backups, so it can handle any weird brownout voltage drops and all that other jazz lightning. But uh, seems to be working. Seems to be working good. Let me get uh, let me get the computer up here. Hang on, I want to show you my password. There it goes again. Now it looks like the whole computer just reset, so let me get back on here. The Outback Power. Should go right back to. Yeah, I want to store. the midnight solar here. It's going to connect. That's going to show the power that I'm getting from the sky, which isn't very much because it's only 8.30 in the morning doing generator testing. It looks like my optics RE is not coming up this morning. It was earlier, but now it's kind of goofy. Well, come on! My modem take a hit. Anyway, you get the idea. But um, you know, with small loads, you know, I I could get a five thousand watt portable generator, or even you know thirty five hundred. The Honda makes a bigger one, but that's okay. Um, you know, smaller generator, smaller footprint, easier portability. And it's an emergency backup, so I don't need to be spending $3,000 on a generator. But this actually works. Let's check the temperature inside the box. It's good. One last time to go inside here. Yeah, that's really good. Really, really good. I like it. 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 I think. I think this is the final design. You know, with the two fans there and the single outlet. And I still got another outlet I can use there if I need to. And I might put a little rubber, rubber thing on here. Cover that. But okay, here we go. Thanks for watching. And uh, have a good, safe one, and we'll see you next time.